How's it going? You caught me on my passion project. This right here is something I've been waiting to work on for quite a while. This is our 1935 Bolist Road Chief. We got this trailer about six months ago and uh, it was in very poor condition. The frame was completely shot on it. I mean completely, completely shot. All these panels in the front were missing. And so what we've done is torn it down to virtually nothing and uh, rebuilt the frame from top to bottom. So this is a project I'm going to be working on every chance I possibly get. Um, we have a lot going on right now at the shop as Sully showed you earlier, but this one is very special to me. Very, very special to me. And I'm very excited to uh, share it with you and share the progress as we go along. This one in particular, we finally found the numbers on it. A lot of times the numbers were stamped in the A pillars on the axle, um, or they were written on the bottom of the ice box, or they were written on the bottom of the sink. We actually found the numbers written on the side of the ice box and on the bottom of the ice box. This is actually 1935 number 111, number 111. There's a lot of really cool features to this that we haven't seen on other boluses. If you look at the tail piece right here, this is actually that famous tail piece that Bolus is, uh, is so known for that's going to be taken over and put on the back of our brand new frame. And uh, this one in particular, if you, uh, I'll go around the other side and show you, has got opening windows on the back. Something that we've never seen before on, a, on the back of a Bolus. That was factory from Bolus, which is really, really cool because in talking to the Bolus family and doing the, the research that I have uh, done over the past few years, um, you know, things are all, always odd and different in, a, uh, in any build, but that in particular was very, very early. And so uh, to be able to have one that is as early as it is and see what they were going through, what they were changing, what they were thinking of, their ideas that were going on it, um, and uh, what worked and what didn't work is a really cool uh, history lesson, that's for sure. Let's go around to the back and I'll show you what we've done back there. This is the back of the molds right here. You can see the framework that we've done here. We tube rolled all this framework and re welded all of this tube steel that's going into uh, the molds. And this is where that famous slanted ducktail look is going to come into the back, married up to our uh, main body part here and wraps around the back end. This is where the bumper, the original bumper will go, and the belly panel will go in here. This is quite the project. To undertake something like this, it can't be faint of heart. We're talking 1935, very limited number of these trailers, and to rebuild it to this level is something that, um, you know, daunting, but it's also a challenge, and it's something that we absolutely love to take on. It's a passion for us here at Flight Camp. So we can't wait to share the progress with you. This project is going to be one that you don't want to miss. In fact, I believe this entire build could be, in 
its own series. So if you stay tuned, you're going to see start to finish on this project of this 1935 Bolas Road Chief. Very early number. We can't wait to share it with you.